Hey guys, Pokedude here, and I'm here today with my timer. Now I'm getting lesson two of my XSC scripting tutorials. Today I'm gonna start off with showing you guys a website on Pokecommute forms. So open up Firefox, and then the link will be in the description. I found this while searching on the web. Diego is awesome. He really is. Mega huge XSC scripting tutorials. He's awesome for making that. So. He made, I'll show you how long this tutorial is, let me center the screen so you guys can see it, there we go, I want to show you how long, yeah that's pretty long, and there's a part three, he took plenty of time, look how much, look how far it is. Oops, wait. Look how far it is. Right there. From the top. Look at that. It must have taken him forever. So, yeah. Now, the thing I'm going to talk about today is, um, flags. Passed it. Flags. Now, it, flags ensure that, on, that an event will only happen once. Um, so now, you go to here, this will be the first introduction of flags, and open up whichever ROM you're using, I'm using Fire Red, and look at this long list of flags that is used in the original game. Long list, ain't it? Those are the flags you're allowed to use in the game. Um, also, um, certain flags unlock certain things. So in Fiverr, there's a whole list of flags that unlock a couple things. First badge, second badge, third, all the way to the eighth badge. The Pokemon menu, so you put this when you get your first Pokemon. The Pokedex menu, so you put this when you get your Pokedex. And we get the running shoes, but this flag. Long list of flags, ain't it? So, um, flags make ensure some, something will only happen once. Put that link in the description. It's a very good thing. That's where I learned all my scripting almost. Practically. Put my timer up here. Time to open up XSE. So, I'm going to be a little off centered. But we're going to start learning flags. Uh, right now, I'm writing all the flag commands you will have to know. And I forget the last one. Oh, check flag. How could I forget that one? Now, these are the three commands you will learn. Start off your script like you do any script. Dynamic offset, 0x. Open up the free space finder. Open your ROM. Search from the beginning. Find your offset. Paste it in. Now you do the pound or at start. Now, before you even start doing lock and face player, you're going to start with the first command. New command. Check flag. And then, what flag? We'll just use 0x01, zero zero because since I'm using a fire red ROM, and if you look on the list, the long list of fire red flags, that have been used in the game. You can't see it right now, but if you look on the flag, there's your X1. So, um, off centered. So, we're just going to use this flag. You can use any flag. And now, here's the next new command if 0x1 go to, at done. You put a pointer to go to. Now, this basically means if the flag is set. 0x1 means if it is set. So if the flag is set, go to done. If But, this means if you've already done it, it you go to done. But if you haven't though, it will continue on with the script like normally. We'll do done later. So now we, now we do a lock. Face player. Player. I'm going to add in some new commands here. Text color. Now, text color basically tells you the color of the text. 0x01 is red. 
Um, I forget the other colors. So ZRX01 is red, which I'll probably be just be using for this tutorial. Let me go see what the other text colors are. Just missed it. Sure saw it. Zoom by. Text color. Right here. Blue is ZRX00. Red is ZRX01. Black is ZRX02. Black is the default, so you don't really need to change the text color if it is black. Stream script editor. So, yeah. So we're gonna do make it red text and holy god, I only have don't have much time left. So text color, and now we can do message box at talk one Xerox sex release. Actually, no, before we release, we have to set the flags. This will only happen once. So set flag Xerox zero one. Now we release, and now we end. Set flag Xerox one sets the flag. So next time you talk to this guy, it will just go to done. So now we do org at done. It doesn't matter what order you put them in, as long as I know. And done, we'll just go to release, end. So, if the flags are reset, it will do nothing because it just releases and ends. Now, org at talk1. Now, we're going to do player. Now, you probably saw this in the last video backslash v backslash h01. This is what you do for the hero. Hi. And then we're going to do backslash v backslash backslash zero six. This is oh, H zero six. This is for the rival. Cause if you just said Eric equal hi red, it's not gonna always say that in people's cases. It might say Diego, hi Roderick. I don't know. How's life? And this is how you really should write it. Proper grammar guys, if you're making a hack. Don't be lazy. Take. So, here it is. Here's our script for flags. Once again, save it if you feel like it. Tutorial ROM. And then, actually, I like this. If you have an unknown keyword, like at line 18, see I have H O R H instead of H O R G. It'll tell you when you have to fix it. That usually never happens to me, but I'm glad it happened. Now you have to open up Advanced Map, do the same thing. So I'll be right back with um, GBA, VBA, so I can show you the example. And I'm back. So now we're going to just start our ROM. So I just wanted to put it in like last time. Eric, see that's the name I put. Hi, A. That's what I put for the rival's name. And you notice how it's red. Now it's just not doing anything. Because the flag was set. So, barely. That's all. And I forgot to explain one more thing that I'm glad I remembered. The command clear flag 0x question mark. So, a clear flag would clear the flag. So, let's import this into our script. Actually, so if we imported this into our script, it would do. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually change at done. Face player, and then clear flag. It still would do nothing. Clear flag zero zero one. Clear flag, clear flag, and once you talk to him again, this will make him be able to be talked to again. I'm not gonna show you that because it's obviously way too obvious. But I just import. I just use all three flag commands in one script. Flag commands are very important because they only happen once. So I once again have a minute to blabble on, but I'm not gonna do that because you guys have other things, important things to do in your life. So this is Poke Dude. Thank you and goodbye.